Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. So today, we're going to go over some ideas on how to take over your farm market, your geographical farm, and what you should be doing to dominate that area, that you are the number one agent. I mean, when you're driving around your neighborhood, your farm, your area where you service, uh, are you seeing other real estate agent signs popping up and how much that you know gets you upset? You're like, how is my neighbor that lives one street over from me, that lived here for decades, not use me as a realtor? Number one reason, you're not consistently marketing to that area, to your farm. So I'm going to give you a couple things to think about. We can write these down, but of course, reach out to me afterwards and we could go over these more in detail. So number one, you got to be consistent in your marketing. You've got to be consistent. You have to uh, budget your money if you're going to do mailers, if you're going to budget your time for door knocking, uh, being involved in your community. You have to be consistent for a long, long period of time. Things that you're going to do for a long period of time. So I know I see agents do this. If you're going to mail, do uh, newsletters, you can't just send one and think that that's going to uh, amount to anything. It's got to be something where you know that you could have, uh, have the time to, you know, if you do like a, a quarterly or biannually or annually uh, mailer or newsletter or community letter, something. So number one, sit down, spend time figuring out. So if you want to rebuild your farm, if you want to uh, start one and you haven't had one, uh, is the time to, be consistent on all the different things you're going to be doing and make sure you do it because there's nothing better. And I hear this from agents all the time is when you run into people, I mean, they're not clients yet, but you run into people, I get your monthly email. Thank you for that information. Or, hey, I get your uh, holiday card every year, you know, Thanksgiving. I always suggest to keep it uh, to holidays, of course, uh, religious holidays, you're not too sure what uh, religion most people are sometimes. So you keep it to more a uh, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, you know, something, you know, uh, of that nature or just uh, general happy holidays. So be consistent is number one. Uh, number two, you have to be in your farm market. What I mean by be in your farm, of course, the best thing is that you live in that area. That's okay. So that's always number one if you are, but you don't have to be, but it's always a big, big plus that you're there or you've been there. I have agents that farm their neighborhood where they grew up and were there for 20 some odd years of their life, but live somewhere else on the other side of town, but they could still farm that area because they were there. They know that market, but, um, but also be in your area is you've got to be seen door to door, be at community things, uh, you have to be involved. And these are a couple of the other points I'm going to get to. So being physically seen in your community, in your farm market, is you've got to figure out ways on how to do that. That's, in again, consistent, be it events, home days, have a booth, uh, anything that you could physically be in where people will see you on that. Um, if you live in the community, go for walks. So people could see you. They see your postcards. They see your emails. They see your uh, marketing. And then they could see you walking around, you know, summer days. Walk your dog. Do something. Go around the neighborhood. Uh, have, you know, magnets on your car when you're parked in the, you know, in your driveway so they can see that where you live. What, anything that you could be seen and you're doing things. And, uh, and, and again, it's, it's just marketing for you. Um, number three give back to your neighbors. I mean, and if you could get on some uh, sound boards, you know, that you know, there's different like neighborhood.com and different neighborhood things where you can be seen giving advice, you know, uh, being involved in your community. If you, uh, you know, I, I know agents uh, out there are involved in, you know, their uh, community rooms to see, you know, if there's, they can volunteer for blood drives, senior days, you know, kids events. So you, you, you should and better be know, know what's going on in your community if that's your farm. You better get the, the city mailer or the community 
newsletter or, or watch what's going on online so you can see different ways that you could be involved in things so people could see you in all different areas so these are things where you got to budget your time budget your your money if you're going to be investing in advertising uh, but being seen at things and being involved is a lot more effective than just placing an ad so and if you can do both so like if there's a community newsletter or something like that and there's an event and you could actually be there to volunteer that does a lot it's just more marketing so give back to your community and volunteer in your farm area i'm saying your community because that's a good place to start uh, and give back and volunteer and, and helping out also number four support local businesses so the businesses know who you are so if you're you know if you can if i mean if they're if you're going out to dinner or lunch or getting takeout or uh, buying things or shopping or whatever. If you're in a uh, community or farm area where you could go there, even though if it's say it's a you know, city or two over, try to support those businesses so people there can see you. A lot of times those business owners are people that live in the community also. So the businesses can see you. And maybe there could be some joint marketing with both of you where you could help each other out. They might recommend you and you could recommend them and, and, and support local businesses. So do that. You can't be a secret agent, like I like to say, where you, they don't even know who you are. They just see this mailer maybe once a month and they don't see anything else on that. So support local uh, uh, businesses. Uh, number five, uh, have some... Uh, you could set up a web page or have pages about the community. So if your community, your farm area doesn't have like a community page, have uh, a soundboard or something where people could, you know, say what's going on or, or what's going on. Not, a, not one of these ones where they complain all the time, but just a, some more positive things. I've had agents set up uh, community pages and you could easily do that. GoDaddy.com. If you don't know about it, GoDaddy.com. I just use that one. There's many uh, companies or uh, places you can build a quick, easy, cheap website or page, and it's easy to do. And GoDaddy is one of them. And you can and buy a, a web address that's kind of links to the community or the farm area, and you can advertise it on your on your information that you're sending and your marketing that you're sending to that area, and push people there, and you're in control of it. So you can have your marketing on there also, but a majority of it's there. So it's another way for you to help control some of the information that's going on in your farm area, and you are in control of it. You can market it. You can send it out to people. and something they could go to consistently, not have to wait for your email or newsletter or anything like that. And last today is make sure everything flows. What I mean by that is make sure – that your mailers, your website, your postcards, your emails, your any your flyers, your door if you have door hangers and you're going door knocking, anything that's on there, try to make sure it all matches, flows. It's so when when they grab it, when they see it, the email pops up, the mailer comes in the mail, postcard, your your newsletter, uh, a door knocker or a door hanger, and you were going door knocking. Uh, and introducing yourself to the community or saying hi, it all matches in your branding, your company branding, your branding. So they know it's you. They don't have to look it around like, what is this? Is this a, you know, is this a political ad? Is it a flyer for a new uh, restaurant in the area? Is it what is this? So you should have great branding of yourself, uh, your company, your brand, your your. Uh, the brand of your company and everything that that they know that's you they always know it's you no matter when they see it they just glance at it and see it that's branding so you got to brand yourself now in a in my little disclaimer here you got to make sure you're following the state of ohio uh, marketing rules the number one rule agents miss i see this every day is that they miss is that your company name has to be just as prominent as your name. Prominent means they have to see it. They can't have something that a big flyer and have your name and you have your own custom brand and they have no idea what company you work for. And way at the bottom, 
on the, on the, on the back of a flyer is your company's name and logo or in the bottom. That's against the state of Ohio. I would stress this because technically the state of Ohio, if they find it or see it and they, they push it, it's a thousand dollar fine. In theory, you send out a hundred mailers, it's a thousand dollar fine for each one of those. So I don't want any agent to, to do that. Any Century 21 Homestar agent watching this, any before you do anything, feel free to send it to me or the office. We'll just glance it, give you the A-OK -okay, that looks good so you don't get in trouble that way. So it's the number one rule. I'm sure you all see it. You're like, wow, that agent, that company, that whatever. I see all the time. I have no idea what company they work for. That's a big no-no. I don't want to see anybody get fined or get in trouble. I make that disclaimer because I don't want anybody to come back and say, I saw Tony's video. He didn't tell us about that. <laughs> so, um, so again, make sure everything flows so you brand yourself, brand you so they can see you uh, and know who you are no matter what marketing you see without reading a whole thing and, and trying to figure it out. Again, that's advertising 101 there. So again, uh, recap a little bit. Is that consistent in your marketing? Be in your area, be in your farm, give back to your neighbors, give and help out your community, support local businesses, try to set up a community website. Uh, if you, they don't already have one that's that people go to or the city has one that's actively used, and you could get other businesses to help you with it and create content for it. And a lot of businesses in the area be happy to help you with information because that's free advertising for them. And then last is make sure everything is consistent and flows well. It's easy and branding 101. So no matter what your avenue you're getting in touch with them with, they know it's you when they first glance at it. No matter if they just take that postcard from site here to in the garbage. You know, there's a lot of people that they, they already hit them. Like I know this is a, another one of your postcards. Again, that is a successful branding, even though they didn't read it. But they know it was you. They put it put it into their subconscious. So um, that's it for today. Remember, use me as a resource if you need any information. You want to go over more ideas, some successes, or some failures that you've had that you th didn't think were a successful way to farm your area. Reach out to me, and we'll go over some more ideas and how to help you with that. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow at eleven. Bye bye.